Jim Skelly. <coughs> Thank you, Convener. Good morning, Cabinet Secretary. The space blog on the taxation impacts of your uh, budget demonstrates that anyone uh, earning uh, less than 124,375 would be paying less tax as a result of this budget. Do you think that's a fair taxation policy? Well, I think what we've, we've done around uh, taxation overall has met our test around uh, income tax. That's around having a more progressive system. So you think it's entirely reasonable that cabinet secretaries like yourself, who are scheduled to earn 111,000 in the next tax year, would be paying less tax? Well, I, I would want to uh, point out that cabinet secretaries such as myself have taken a voluntary pay freeze since 2008. Um, I've not been a cabinet secretary that long, of course, uh, but um, that is the position for cabinet secretaries since I've been asked about my own um, uh, position. Um, yes, I do believe that the income tax proposals that we've put forward are fair because they meet those tests of raising a necessary income. So you think it's fair that government ministers, managing directors, chief executives on salaries of around £100,000 are paying less tax as a result of your budget? As a result of the budget, it meets the principles that I have set out, which raises more money, uh, which is more progressive, uh, which protects lower income earners and is, as I say, far more progressive. If you looked at the evidence, uh, have you taken account of the fact that in terms of public services, we hear week after week in the parliamentary chamber uh, of the crisis in public services and you know, councils are facing the prospect of job losses and cuts in services. Why then have you set a taxation policy where 99% of taxpayers will pay less tax in the coming year? Because I've tried to set out the composition and the structure of the tax base in Scotland and following the evidence I've met the tests that have been set out in relation to the role of income tax in Scotland. 